Hello to all tech enthusiasts and all my five subscribers. I'm currently working on an interesting project that requires cutting a pipe lengthwise. This pipe is thick and heavy, weighing 30 kilograms. It has a wall thickness of 12 millimeters, a diameter of 200 millimeters, and the height is 500 millimeters. My task is to cut it like this. Make two cuts to split the pipe into two halves. I searched YouTube for various methods, but couldn't find anything suitable for my needs. One suggestion was to try cutting the pipe with a jigsaw, but the pipe is very thick and the blade would likely drift to the side. So, using a jigsaw is not an option. Of course, the simplest solution would be to outsource the cutting. It would be faster and cheaper, but taking the easy way out is not my style. That's why I came up with a clever device to cut the pipe myself. Let me show you. Here's the idea. I will try to cut it in multiple passes. For this, I built a special fixture. It's an angle grinder rigidly mounted on a platform. To secure it firmly, I used part of a special stand for mounting angle grinders. This stand is available in most hardware stores and costs around 20 euros. I modified it slightly to allow the abrasive disc to move up and down. To achieve this, I installed an adjustable mechanism here. By turning this mechanism, the angle grinder moves slowly up or down. There's also a clamping screw to lock the AG in the adjusted position. One full turn moves the abrasive disc approximately one millimeter. The second part of the design is a guide rail that allows the AG to move along a straight path. This movement looks like this. If you build a similar design and it doesn't slide well, check if screws are sticking out from the bottom. Let me say up front, this setup is designed for a single-use task. It's not a tool for regular work, but exclusively for one-off use. Building this device took me a day and a half. I haven't tested it yet. First, I will securely fix the pipe, set up the mechanism, and then we'll start testing. I made a cut about 5 mm deep. As a result, the abrasive disc wore down significantly, so it's no longer possible to cut deeper. I'll replace it with another disc now. After about an hour, I completed the cut on one side of the pipe. However, there's a small thickened section at the end of the pipe. I'll use a jigsaw to trim it slightly. Then, I'll flip the pipe over and work on cutting the other side. I finished cutting the second side of the pipe. You can see that the plywood part of the fixture burned quite a bit, and the surface underneath was also significantly damaged by sparks. This is, as you can see, a single-use tool. I sincerely hope I never have to cut such a pipe again. The second cut took just 29 minutes. Now I just need to cut the remaining crossbars. I'll use a jigsaw because I'm afraid to use the angle grinder in such a narrow space. I fear the disc might jam and shatter into pieces.
Surprisingly, the jigsaw doesn't work at all. It might be some high strength steel, even though I'm using a very good blade for the jigsaw. I'll try a smaller angle grinder instead. Even though I really didn't want to use a 125mm angle grinder in such a tight space, I'll have to. There's no other way to cut this metal. There's an inner ring here, and I need to cut through it somehow. Success! It worked. Now, onto the other side. I'll set the pipe vertically so the halves don't pinch the abrasive disc. Look at this perfectly smooth and mirror-like surface. The cut is absolutely straight. The cut width is less than 2 mm and the surface is incredibly smooth. I don't know of any other tool that could achieve such a precise cut. After all this effort, I've finally finished cutting the pipe. I hope I'll never have to cut such a thick pipe again but I'm really impressed with how smooth the cut turned out. It feels completely uniform and mirror-like. I have a small question for those watching. Although I understand that only a handful of people will see this video, I'm curious. Can you identify the type of metal or pipe from the sparks? This pipe was turned on a lathe, so it's unlikely to be a regular water pipe. There are fine grooves on the side, clearly marks from a lathe cutting tool. Of course, it's probably not a gun barrel. But if you know what kind of pipe this might be, please let me know in the comments. The fixture performed very well. I don't think any other tool could achieve such a clean and precise cut at home. However, plywood is not an ideal material for making tools. A metal base would have been much better. It wouldn't burn, and the fixture could be reused multiple times. I know this kind of request always annoys everyone, but right now, I only have five subscribers. Just five. If there were more, I'd be incredibly happy. Thank you, friends.